Good afternoon gardening friends. It's now February 13th at a little before 4 p.m. And I got a few little updates. Um, pardon me if I <clears throat> clear my throat. I've been fighting off the flu again. Uh, let's see. Well, obviously you can see the uh, tomato. And looking up here for germination, what do we have? Actually, in the bright light Swiss chart, there's one way down in there. I don't know if you can just see a little spot of green. I know it's probably out of focus. A little spot of green. I don't know if that's something germinating or not. Uh, in the Flaming Malabar spinach, nothing yet. But if we move on over to the Black Seeded Simpson, we get quite a few. So I'm real happy about that, and I may have to thin all this out. Uh, moving over to the Salad Fresh spinach, uh, I've got what looks like a couple of, well, they're either weeds or we've got a couple of sprouts. On the uh, large leaf basil, nothing yet. On the cinnamon basil, nothing yet. On the nasturtium, peach melba, nothing yet. In the melon patch, nothing yet. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm sounding like a broken record. Um, I've decided to let the butter crunch lettuce. I looked up bolting to understand this a little bit better and so you can see the flowers kind of working their way up there. The lettuce itself is pretty much a lost cause. Once it goes to flower then the taste of the lettuce is not going to be any good but since I don't have any seeds for butter crunch lettuce I'll go ahead and let it go to flower and see if I can harvest the seeds and that may be another month or two down the road before I can really get anything out of this but uh, it's there. I might as well let it go to flower and see if I can harvest some seeds from it. Another sort of experience from the garden, if you will. Uh, moving over to the uh, common oregano. Nothing yet. Swiss chard, no real change. The uh, Pac-Man broccoli, no real change. But, Easter egg radish, we've got... Oop, earlier I saw two, now it looks like there's a third sprout. And I'm trying to remember how many of them I put in there. But anyway, we've got three sprouts, so that's good. Uh, moving over to the carrots, nothing yet. And today I planted two more. I planted the yellow pear, um, <clears throat> excuse me, yellow pear tomato and the tomato, uh, tumbler tomato. Uh, those were just planted today. They've been watered in. Actually, they look like they need a little bit more water, but uh, nothing yet because I just planted them. Over here, I've got the um, snapdragon, which I'm planning on transplanting. Oh, and I wanted to point out with, uh, what I've been doing with the boxes now. Last year, I did uh, a bunch of projects for building these boxes. This year, since I'm emptying them out and redoing the soil, just turning the soil, I actually have heard somewhere where you shouldn't actually turn your soil, but I think that applies more to uh, actual like ground soil if you have a, a garden in the ground instead of a container garden. So what I've done every year is pretty much empty out the containers, loosen up the soil and put it back in. Or even in this case, what I'm doing is taking all of the soil from all of these boxes, or I'll take a couple of boxes, I'll drop the soil down into my five gallon bucket, because that's about what comes out of two of those. Um, so it's probably about two gallons a pop in these boxes. They're deceptively small. Um, they store a lot for their size. Anyway, um, I put it in the five gallon bucket, mix it up, and then put it back in. That's what I do with those. Um, these are all, all of the light colored boxes are my edible boxes. Not the boxes are edible, but I grow my edibles in them. And the reddish colored boxes, like that one down there, which was a really early effort, um, those are for flowers. So, getting back to the snapdragon, I was planning on transplanting that today. And so what I started to say is I'm taking the boxes in. Let me put one up here so I can kind of show you. Um, I've been relining them with the foil. I still have the holes on the bottom to drain, but one of the problems is sometimes if I forget to water, the soil starts to dry up. And when I water, it just kind of goes over the the top of it and down the sides and the water just exits out so the wa water's not really working its way into the soil. So even though I'm trying to water to bring the plants back, they're not really coming back. So hopefully with this, um, and you can kind of see some daylight down there, hopefully with this, with relining the boxes, or lining the boxes, which I didn't do last year, 
with the foil tape the same as I used over on the big planter. Hopefully that will help. So I'm going to put some dirt in here and I'm going to drop the snapdragon in there and I'm going to put it up on here and that will be planted. That's pretty much it for the patio. Uh, let me give you a quick update outside. So out by the office we've got the petunias which are doing nicely. I actually moved them back when I was afraid of the rain. I'll probably pull them forward a little bit. It kind of looks nice up against the wall there. We just got to get something actually planted in that patch of dirt. So that's why I'm probably going to pull them forward just so it doesn't look like a patch of dirt. That's that. And here's the nursery. Sorry, I'm off the tripod again. Uh, you can kind of see how sprouts are going here. We're doing pretty good. I've only been watering pretty much every other day, although actually when I look at it now, the uh, echinacea looks kind of sick. So maybe I'll try and give it a quick shot of water today. Um, and then the Gerber Daisy. And that I, I still haven't figured out. I know I planted this flower before, and I don't know what it is, but uh, somebody knows, tell me, otherwise I'll eventually figure it out. Also, we have a new plant by the uh, exercise room. Um, this one's in not so great shape, but it was actually, uh, somebody was cleaning off their patio. They didn't really want to just toss it, so they put it next to the dumpster and nobody took it. So I finally figured I'd give it a home here. I need to clean it up a bit. Uh, but I pretty much am going to use this as a replacement to some degree for this, whatever it was, which is pretty much dead, except for the flowers that have decided to pop up in the bottom. Those are probably just volunteers. Uh, that's it for here. The nasturtiums on the back side of the office have been producing, which is nice. I've enjoyed a few flowers and enjoyed telling a few people that they can actually eat them. Not much on that one. I think there's one more flower over here. Yep, one more peach melba nasturtium. So there you go if you wanted to know what they look like. And over here, not much further development. The uh, This is still either dormant or nearly dead. Um, I've got another nasturtium there which i got to transplant at some point and a lot of pots to figure out what to deal with. Try fighting off the flu and figuring all this out at the same time, huh? Uh, these are the transplants from the nursery. Looks like only about maybe 15% of them survived. The uh, Nandina is still alive. I haven't killed it yet. Plants underneath are doing reasonably well. And uh, I'll give it some water tomorrow. That should be it for today. Uh, except I guess I'll show you the Snapdragon once I get it transplanted. Okay, so the Snapdragon is now transplanted and watered in. And I'm going to go look up proper care and feeding and make a plant card for this one. Uh, I've already printed the plant cards for the two tomatoes. I'm just going to actually make them, uh, laminate them and put them on sticks so I can stick them in and not forget which one's which. It's just for documentation. It's the yellow on the left and the tumbler on the right. So, and a snapdragon. So, and now i got two boxes drying out so that I can line them with tape because if they're wet then the tape doesn't really stick. But that's that and more soil down here because I emptied out one of those two boxes down into here so and I got two more boxes yet to go as well as sorry don't mean to make you dizzy three uh, of the edible boxes yet to go and I got other things to do but uh, one step at a time don't want to overdo it while I'm sick so that's it for today good afternoon gardening friends it's now see Friday February 15th at about 12:30. lots of little things going on around here and I'm still fighting off the flu I think uh, this is the bug that's been going around and this is most likely from what I can tell the second wave of the flu bug so um, I'm doing okay though um, a little better each day and time in the garden only helps so let's uh, go through kind of what's changed around here uh, obviously we've got the tomato which I always start in on and that's doing nicely I've been spanking it regularly and uh, you want to look at my previous episodes to know what I mean by that before you read too much into it uh, up here let's see I think we've got it's really gonna be hard to see but in the Malabar spinach right dead center there I got a tiny little green sprout let me see if I can hold the camera still so you can see it I don't know if that's working, but 
Uh, next to that, we're doing really nice in the Simpson, uh, black seeded Simpson lettuce. We've got a few uh, of the salad fresh spinach that have popped. That's good. Other than that, there doesn't appear to be any more activity up here. Down in the melon patch, nothing. Uh, we've already talked a lot about the, uh, uh, which one is that? That's the butter crunch lettuce, um, so I'll just kind of pass over that. Uh, the oregano has not popped yet. This one's empty. I'll get back to that in a minute. These two are not empty. I'll get back to them in a minute. We get the chard, we got the Pac-Man broccoli, and we've got sprouts in Easter egg radish. Uh, we got nothing in the Tona di Perigi yet. I'm trying to remember what's in these two. I have uh, plant cards that I've done for everything. I just forget what's actually in here and uh, what, I'm going to go back and review my own video just to figure out where to put all the plant cards. Over in the flower section, I've decided there was a geranium uh, that was left behind by somebody. Oh, sorry to see you waving over like that, buddy. Um, and I took cuttings from it. I did, checked a lot of videos on YouTube to try and figure out how to do it best, and uh, I just kind of took the average of them all. I'm not sure what color it's going to be either, but uh, I've got two cuttings in here, and another two cuttings over here. Uh, this one I did not dip in honey. That one I did dip in honey, and it was just regular bees honey. We're just, it's sort of an experiment to see if there's any difference. These actually look a little bit fresher than these, but I don't know if that means anything. I'm just going to, you know, I only transplanted them, or did the cuttings yesterday, so we'll see if it really means anything. I've transplanted the Snapdragon. That's in there. I've got 4 o'clock, uh, sorry, no, Morning Glory. i got a blue here, and i got a, uh, what is it, Heavenly Blue and Crimson Rambler over here. So that's that's a lot of work around here. I've also finally put up the birdhouse style feeder, which I'll put a link to in case you're interested. And I can get back to virtual birding. I can basically sit on my couch, recover from the flu, and watch the birds come. Uh, that's it for on the patio for now. And let's see, is there anything else? Uh, one little development, I'm not sure if I covered, so I'll go outside and do that. So there's not a lot of change around the courtyards, but I did want to show you this tree here. I think I may have already covered it, but basically the plan is to clean it up. This was, uh, a tenant was cleaning off her patio, had a few too many plants. She put this one over next to the dumpster, which we do around here regularly. We just put things that are still, could be viable, um, not just plants, but furniture, whatever if somebody's, uh, in case somebody might be interested. If nobody picks it up in a couple of trash cycles, it ends up in the dumpster. Um, but at least it kind of gives things a chance for a second home. And this one sat, I couldn't bear to throw it away, so I took it out. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to do the best I can to give it a new life here. It's probably going to end up sitting over there. I'm not 100% sure yet, but that one's pretty much been decimated by something or maybe just a lack of sun. But, uh, so I'm going to replace this one. So that's the plan for now. That's it for today. We'll see if I actually get this one cleaned up. Ah, sometimes I surprise myself. When I get going on a project, I just don't let go. And I just keep going and going and going. And this is the result. I've got my patio cleaned up. And, uh, it still needs a little bit of organizing, especially on the bottom shelves. Sorry about that. But, uh, and I still need to put up all the plant cards, which means I need to go back and review all the video. But there we go, just a nice picture to show you what it can kind of look like when you put it all together. It'll probably be even a little bit neater in a couple of days. But And I may pay for all this tomorrow, being that I'm sick and I did this much work. But there you go, a nice picture to end the episode on.